Welcome to part 4 of the game controls tutorial. Part 4 we're going to be adding in a bad guy and adding in a clock and a sound to go with the bad guy and also adding in a reset button. So to get started let's go to animation and left click and drag on image sprite. Drag it onto your screen and we're going to rename it. Let's name it bad guy. And under picture here, we're going to select that. And you're going to insert a picture. Um, you can go ahead and open Photoshop, create a picture. I made it 40 by 40 pixels in Photoshop. So go ahead and do that, insert it. Once you've done that, you're going to go to basic here. And we're going to add in a clock. And let's rename it bad guy clock. And we're also going to add in a sound. And uh, but before we do that, the bad guy clock for the timer inter interval, we'll set it to 2,000 milliseconds. The bad guy will be moving every two seconds. If you want to make him move faster, you can adjust it, make the number smaller. That'll make him go faster. And let's go to media here and get a sound and let's drop it down here and we'll rename it bad guy sound and we're gonna set this up so that when the bad guy collides with the sprite we'll hear a sound so go to source I'm gonna use cache register here dot wave uh, to get a sound just go to find sounds dot com and uncheck AIFF and AU we only want mp3s and waves that's what will work in App Inventor and go ahead and search for something um, something like that and actually I picked the wrong one um, I'm gonna select scream for the bad guy sound whatever sound you want be creative I'm using a scream if you want to do that you can if you want to use something else that's perfectly fine just make sure it's a wave or an mp3 so the bad guy when he touches the good guy or the reward it'll scream once we have that, we just need to add in a, our reset button. So go to basic, drag the button up here at the top, and let's rename the component reset button, no spaces, and we'll re put the text to reset. And I'm just doing the basic stuff. If you want to change the colors and the size and all that, you can. And go ahead and make the font size 20. There we go. Alright, so let's now let's open up the blocks editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our bad guy timer so that our bad guy will start moving here. So let's go to the bad guy timer or bad guy sound. Let's see, bad guy clock, here we go. When the bad guy timer, do this. And I haven't showed you guys this, but if you click this button, it'll minimize some of these other things. And you can kind of move them out of the way while you're working on this. So we need to get the call and then bad guy move to. So under my blocks and bad guy, find where it says call bad guy move to and then we can fill it in with these so we can move these out of the way select a block and then do control C to copy and control V like Valentine's to paste and we'll have to replace reward with we'll do that in a second here control C control V Alright, so we'll get rid of the reward width and the reward height here. And we'll go to bad guy. And we'll get bad guy width and bad guy height. And you got to make sure that you put them on the correct column. The X is the width, the Y is the height. Once we have those, our timers set up, we need to set up 
um, our collision it's going to look like this one here except it'll be for the bad guy so go to my blocks and bad guy and we need to find the one that says when the bad guy collides with do this and we can name this image sprite 1 and basically we're just going to be copying and pasting so select this first one go to control C control V copy and paste the call update score procedure and this one's different see this is the reward sound we want the bad guy sound so we're going to go to bad guy sound and find the one that says call bad guy sound dot play and now when the bad guy is collided with it'll we actually want to make the score negative one so it'll take away a point from our score it'll update the score with this procedure and with this procedure it'll play our scream sound or whatever sound you've put in for the bad guy and then the last thing we need to do here is set up our reset button so we're going to go to the reset button here and get the win do button or win do controls rather so when the reset button is clicked we want it to do this we want it to set the global score to zero so set global score to and then we're going to give it a value of zero so I'm just going to copy and paste this one control C control V and we want it to update the score so I'll take this procedure and do control C and control V and copy and paste it there and save it I can open up my emulator and connect to it and if I turn my sound on here, it's reset. Try to use my. And as you can see, um, I hit the bad guy. You hear the scream sound, and it gives me negative points. So as I try to collect the dollars, there we go, I'm back on the zero side. So I can avoid the bad guy here. Maybe I can get another point. But basically, at this point we are done um, so you're done enjoy your game um, if you'd like to download it to your phone this is what you need to do go to package for phone and then download it to your connected phone thank you very much hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye